Hello, I want to talk to you about tough love. Now, 5D love is not necessarily tough in and of itself. However, getting there, the hard part, the tough part, the thing that we feel is tough is ditching all the stuff that was non-love. Part of how it happens, and this is something that a lot of you can relate to, should I change scenery? A lot of people who feel like they love someone in a different location, they will completely uproot themselves and go live in that location, believing that that's going to do the trick. Okay. I won't say it does nothing, but have they carried all their same stuff with them, all their same wounding, all the ancestral things they need to heal, all of their generational traumas? Is it healthy? Can they find work? Can they find housing? etc. It's different for people that make this decision voluntarily to do it because they're chasing someone. When people do it out of necessity, they do find the survival needs are a little bit different. But for someone doing it to create a reaction from someone, that's not tough love, that's the manipulation. And what really works is not changing the outer landscape of your life, although that can be healthier if it is a healthy area and environment. No, it's changing the inner landscape, opening up the parts of you that are really there to rig you up, to support you, to really solidify this, to not have it be so airy-fairy, to have you not need to resort to the tools that may have helped you up until now, to have you really transform. The real reason is this is the first time in history that a lot of people, masses of people, can actually even physically heal things. Previously, people could feel spiritually healed, emotionally healed, but they couldn't always heal the physical things that came as the result of those things that needed healing. And yeah, it's tough love. I once asked my higher self, I said, how do those people that are 500 pounds, like how do they lose the weight? And one word came back, transformation. But I said, how do they transform? They are clicking on a part of themselves on the inside, which then comes from the inside out and the above down to help and support them. Wow. Now, that may say sound simple when you do this, but sometimes you look at people and you say, they just can't. They can't say no to this. They have no self-discipline. They... They keep giving in to their free will. They're throwing tantrums. They are hanging on to that with a death grip that will kill them. And it will make them develop more fears and resentments. Now, are you someone that holds on to things like that? Wounds, fears, resentments. Do you find that you go from like this end of the spectrum to that and you have trouble balancing? Yeah, it's tough love. How do you take that pause that refreshes? How do you get into a daily practice that actually can help you? Well, I'm going to be talking to you about some of it this coming up weekend, the weekend of the love moon where the veils are the thinnest. We're going to ride that energy to help make it easier for people. So would you like to join us? Please check the links below. I don't recommend that people go around carrying the fears from their childhood, the fears from so many lifetimes, the fears from their culture, their people, the superstitions. It can really weigh on you and there's new ways. Okay, that's really important to understand. There are new ways. The new ways are not difficult. You may feel it challenging. But tough love, <laughs> tough love, that means you get going with it. You stick your toe in the water. You start with something different. You start with what I'm offering and you can start to get results. The entire ascension process um, has already started for so many people. The way it looked early on may not look like how it is now, but the tough love part that remains the same because that means a little bit of self-discipline, a little bit of being teachable, okay? Being teachable.
It's even been tough love for me when, you know, I'll have some great comments or feedback from people and then I get comments that, you know, I it hurts my feelings. The first time it ever happened, I cried. What I do with it, though, is I have to really pause, okay? But I say to myself, is it something that's nagging at someone? Like, is this, is this some uh, raw material that someone genuinely needs help with? Would this help 10,000 people? Would that thing that they're suffering with, you know, we don't have to be mean to each other, but we do at times have to help each other. And I sometimes compare it to an abused animal that sometimes when they start to get into a safe environment, then they let out all of the barking and the snarling and the, you know, teeth bearing things, you know, Sometimes, a lot of times, people can be very comparable to that. And yet, we are not that. We are a multidimensional being. I want to remind you of that. While you can feel really human at times with human frailties and flaws and failures, inside you is the part of you. It might be this much percentage that is a magnificent multidimensional being who needs the tough love to get out. So thanks so much for watching. I hope that this helped you. Please look at the links below for the professional help that we offer. Thank you so much. Bye.